Our top story, weeks after the devastating earthquake in Nepal, the Himalayan nation was rocked with fresh tremors yet again today. Here in India, big question we are asking ourselves is whether we'll be safe when and if a big quake hits our city. The truth is that earthquakes don't kill and we know that by now. Buildings do. Which is why it is important to talk about ways to strengthen your existing building to make them more earthquake resistant. Here's how you can do it. Conventionally constructed buildings in India follow an old logic. The stronger and stiffer the building, the more structural muscle it has. But past examples prove that these common reinforced concrete or RC buildings fall apart during strong earthquake shaking. Modern science presents a solution where buildings are retrofitted with modern devices known as dampers. A damper is literally like putting a hydraulic shock absorber to break the shaking of a building during an earthquake. The damper will dampen the displacement which means minimize damage. Whenever there is a horizontal force, the building starts swinging and the friction damper will start slipping. The minute it starts slipping, it is dissipating energy. Now, what does an earthquake do? An earthquake pumps in energy into a structure, but uh, then the structure is not safe. The structure is absorbing the energy. So we want an external device to be installed which will dissipate the energy much like an automobile brake. India has just begun toying with the idea of seismic dampers. Important structures like hospitals and now upscale residential buildings have adopted the most basic friction damper. These are steel braces that slip against each other, absorbing the massive energy produced during an earthquake. This is an example of a friction damper installed in this tilled building in Gurgaon. Considered the most affordable by structural experts, friction dampers are known to last you a lifetime with maintenance limited to just painting them regularly. Whiskers dampers are the other type. They are piston type cylinders that contain a silicon based fluid to soak in the earthquake energy. Friction dampers are estimated to cost about 30 rupees per square foot, while whiskers dampers come in the higher range, suitable for commercial structures. But mostly international players offer these two damping solutions in India. So how will we undertake a nationwide retrofitting effort if dampers demand big investment? IIT Delhi says it is close to a solution. It is testing out a prototype called the yielding damper which it is targeting for the masses. What we are seeing damper is that any common man can make it easy with little skill in the welding, bolting, this kind of thing. What do you do with your mystery? It can fit the damper straight. So, the idea of our idea is that the target application is that it should be more costly. It should be made in a very low price. After making it, when you do the installation of the building, it will be simple. Redeveloping India's huge old building stock may not be feasible. Therefore, dampers are the smartest and the easiest solution to strengthen weak buildings. Those on stilts especially need to be targeted, as even the National Disaster Management Authority has called them structurally riskier. With camera person AJ Joseph, Vasudha Sharma, NDTV.